Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mariana. I come from Bolivia, a country that is currently in a social political crisis, just as many other countries in Latin America. But I am here to talk about a bigger crisis, the global water crisis. So for us to be in context, I have some data, but because of time, I'm only going to read two. The first one is that 785 million people lack even basic drinking water services. And the last one is that every year are diagnosticated more than 3 billion episodes of diseases strongly related to unsafe water quality, and 4 million of them end in death. So just to compare these numbers, did you know that right now there are more registered mobile lines than people in the world? Could this mean that nowadays it's easier to register a mobile line than getting pure water? We have to think about it. I'm talking about history. The first registered method to try to purify water was made 4,000 years before Christ. This means that we've been developing water filtration methods for over 6,000 years, but we're still dying because of the water that we're drinking. Then, what's the solution that we're proposing? So, as we all know, quinoa is the food of the future. So we are innovating in water clay filters by adding quinoa peels in the filters. So we prepare a vessel out of clay, mix it with peels. So at the moment of baking this vessel, the pores left by quinoa peels are very small, helping to purify water. Also, an interesting property of quinoa peels is the content in saponins, which works as a fungicide, eliminates toxic minerals, and could even eliminate various bacteria and solid wastes by flotation. This filter works by itself, but we are going to improve it by filling the vessel with activated carbon and giving a coverage of silver. Finally, the filter goes inside a tank, and as a result, we have fresh, clean, and healthy water for everyone. I'm sure that some of you must be thinking that this project is too easy or too basic, but with such a critical crisis, we need easy, simple, and affordable solutions in order to as much people as possible get to break this wall that is still taking lives. Thank you.